Cruise news. Cruise line shaken up by a new law. Another cruise line submits and makes changes. I'm going to get you the details on that. Plus, tensions are stirring in the Caribbean. In the next week, you may see something very unusual if you are cruising there. All of this and more, I'm going to get you the top 10 cruise news updates to get you fully up to speed, and I'm going to get you the information fast. Coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason. Our goal is to be your cruise information channel. We aim to get you the cruise news and information that you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you're one of the millions of people that love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and kick things off with number one. A passenger has been reported as overboard from the MSC Eurybia cruise ship. The Eurybia is one of MSC's newest ships. It was sailing in the Norwegian fjords at the time. The overboard alarm was sounded at approximately 2.15 a.m. on Thursday morning. The captain made an announcement about the situation and stated that the ship was stopping for rescue operations. A rescue boat was launched. A video has surfaced showing someone being pulled from the water. But it is unclear whether this was a rescue team member or the person they were searching for. No other details have been provided at this time. We pray that the person is found safe. Number two, Saga Cruises is partnering with BBC Studios to provide unique entertainment to their passengers. Saga operates the Spirit of Discovery and the Spirit of Adventure cruise ships. And on many of their upcoming sailings, they will have BBC celebrities on board. Depending upon the type of celebrity, some will be offering performances in the theater. Others will provide informational talks providing key insights into their industry. So good move by Saga, definitely something new and interesting. Moving on to number three, P&O Australia will be absorbed into Carnival Cruise Line's fleet. The Pacific Encounter and Pacific Adventure cruise ships will be rebranded under the Carnival Cruise Line banner by March of 2025. And this brings about three big developments. First, it stands to further cut the cruise capacity for our dear friends in Australia. In 2024, there has been a daily capacity for 40,000 passengers. But with the P&O Australia and other cruise line withdrawals, that number will be down to 28,000 by 2026. The second development is that the Azamara Cruises CEO has indicated that they desire to fill the gap left by P&O. So stay tuned for more information on that. And third, the P&O move will put Carnival Cruise Line at 29 ships, once again making it the largest cruise brand in the world. That will put Carnival back above Royal Caribbean. After it launches the Utopia of the Seas this summer, it will be at 28 ships. Next, number four, an 18-year-old saved a cruise passenger's life on the Isle of Man. The Isle of Man is located in the Irish Sea between Ireland and England. The 18-year-old is a cruise terminal employee. They were present while a German cruise passenger suffered a heart attack while in the terminal. The teenager remained calm and used a nearby defibrillator saving the cruise passenger's life. Kudos to the team. Here is a picture of the young lady. She definitely deserves congrats. Then number five, Carnival Cruise Line has quietly removed a loyalty perk for its top-tiered cruise passengers. Carnival's Platinum and Diamond level cruisers will no longer receive a free $25 fun play credit in the casino. This perk was removed without an announcement prior, and this led to backlash by some of the Carnival faithful. The situation, of course, was brought up to Cruise Line Ambassador John Hild, who said in a statement, quote, The $25 fun play casino credit was one of our temporary offers to our top-tier VIFP guests. With a full suite of casino promotions and activities, we are sunsetting this credit and continue to look for other ways to make our loyal guests have a great time while cruising with us. Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day, but now it is time for our fast mid-show check-in. In the last video, I asked, how many different cruise lines have you cruised with? I received input from nearly 5,000 of you, and here are the results. 28% of you said that you have cruised with one cruise line. 26% said that you have cruised with two, and 47% said that you have cruised with three or more. Thanks for your input and all of the great comments. Here is today's question. Thinking about loyalty perks, the question is, if you could only choose one of the following perks, which one would you choose? Would you go with A, a free gift, such as a hat, a t-shirt, a bag, something like that? Or would you choose B, free laundry? Or would you go with C, priority embark and debark? Which one would you choose? Chime in down below. I look forward to reading that, but now on with the cruise news. Number six, the three and a half year long around the world cruise has been delayed for the third time. The Villa V Odyssey cruise ship was initially scheduled to launch on May 15th. However, that sailing was delayed until May 30th and then June 4th and now June 15th. 
This delay comes as an inspection revealed that the rudder post needs to be replaced. The rudder post is the internal component that connects the rudder to the ship. Then number seven, if you're an individual who likes to use Uber or other ride sharing apps, that is an option you will no longer want to consider while at port in Jamaica. Jamaica's Minister of Transportation is recommending an immediate ban on all ride sharing apps. It seems the island has seen an uptick in criminal activity connected with drivers who are using the apps. The official said in a statement, quote, I make no apologies. I have a responsibility as a minister and an elected representative to protect the lives of the people. Moving on to number eight, tensions rise in the Caribbean as Russian warships are scheduled to arrive in the region. The activity is seen as a Russian show of force in response to recent NATO actions. On June 12th, four Russian warships, including a nuclear-powered submarine, are expected to arrive in Cuba. They will be conducting a week-long military exercise that will also include some of Russia's long-range bombers. While these actions are not seen as a direct threat, it has created some tension in the region. And if you are cruising in the Caribbean between June 12th and the 19th, you may spot some of the activity. Next, number nine, severe flooding is impacting river cruises on Europe's Rhine, Maine, and Danube rivers. Strong currents and debris from the flooding poses significant safety challenges. Plus, the high water levels have made it difficult for ships to go under bridges and dock at ports. This has led to multiple river cruise cancellations. TUI cruises even had to evacuate 140 cruise passengers who were stranded on the Danube since Sunday. If you have a river cruise in Europe in the coming weeks, it is highly encouraged that you stay in close contact with your cruise line. Then, with cruise lines shaken up by a new law, number 10, the world's three largest cruise companies have now all submitted to make changes to their pricing strategies. MSC Cruises is joining Carnival Corporation and Royal Caribbean Group to change how they advertise cruise prices in the U.S. Historically, the cruise line websites would highlight the cruise fare prices. And then somewhere in the fine print, they would note the mandatory taxes, fees, and port expenses. But California passed what is called an honest pricing law that makes it illegal for businesses operating in the state to advertise prices that does not include all required fees and charges. Cruise lines had to decide whether to find a way to provide a separate inclusive price for all of their California operations or go ahead and make the change for all of their U.S. cruises. The three largest cruise companies decided to go ahead and make the change across the board. Royal Caribbean Group and Carnival Corporation will begin the new pricing approach on July 1st. That is when California's law goes into effect. MSC has announced that they will reflect the new pricing starting on June 26th. Are you glad that this change is being made? Let's talk about it down in the comments. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video, it'll be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.